Now Giant Despair had a wife, and her name was Diffidence. So when the giant went to bed that evening, he told his wife what he had done, explaining that he had taken a couple of prisoners and thrown them into his dungeon for trespassing on his grounds. Then he asked for advice. What do you think I should do with these prisoners tomorrow? Who are they? she asked. And where have they come from? He told her, and she advised him that when he arose in the morning, he should beat them without mercy. So when he arose in the morning, he grabbed his dreadful crab tree club and went straight away down into the dungeon to the prisoners. He began to beat them as if they were misbehaving dogs, although they had shown him no disrespect. The giant continued to beat them so severely that they were no longer able to protect themselves or even to move upon the floor. Once he had finished, the giant walked out and left them there to commiserate over their misery and to mourn under their distress. So for the rest of that day, heavy sighs and bitter cries accompanied their time. The next night, Diffidence talked with her husband again about the prisoners. When she learned that they were still alive, she advised her husband to recommend to Christian and Hopeful that they commit suicide. In the morning, he went to the prisoners in the same gruff manner as before. When he saw they were in extreme pain because of the wounds he had inflicted the day before, he told them, Since you are never going to get out of this place, your best alternative is to make an end of yourselves. You can use a knife, noose, or poison. For why should you choose to live, seeing that life is filled with so much bitterness? The prisoners asked that he let them go. With that, the giant scowled as if he were ready to rush upon them to finish them off right then and there. But he fell into one of his fits, for he sometimes experienced seizures on sunshiny days during which he lost the use of his hands for a time. Therefore, he withdrew from the dungeon and left the prisoners to consider what they should do. Christian and Hopeful talked between themselves as to whether it would be best to take the giant's advice or not, and it led into an intense conversation. Brother, said Christian, what shall we do? The life we now live in this place is miserable. For my part, I don't know whether it is better to live like this or to die by our own hand. My soul chooses strangling rather than life, and the grave seems more desirable for me than this dungeon. Scripture and my soul thought it better to be strangled and desired death more than my bones. Job 7, verse 15. Shall we accept the giant's advice? 